Hello everyone! Welcome back to Storybook Farm in Stardew Valley. It's another beautiful sunny day, Tuesday the 16th day of spring. Let's see what Wellwick the Oracle has to tell us about our fortune today. Welcome to Wellwick's Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. This is rare. The spirits feel absolutely neutral today. Um, as I understand it, there's actually a difference between the rare absolutely neutral and the neutral that we got yesterday. And the neutral um, that we got yesterday is actually a very, very, very slight luck bonus, whereas today is, is no modifier at all. And the weather for tomorrow will be rainy. That is very good news for us, given that we now have an abundance of crops to water. We should have planted parsnips there last night, and we did not do it because it was dark, and I did not notice that there were two empty spots. Who has sent us mail today? Let's see. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? We will not be buying any fertilizer from Pierre anytime soon because it's just so easy for us to make it ourselves with sap and we're getting plenty of sap from cutting down trees. I am going to grab a fertilizer, however, and quickly plant these two parsnip seeds in the empty spots that we did not plant last night. Let's water our who's bowl. Let's also get rid of this tree seed. Does not need to be there. Good morning, Arhu. All right, I'm going to take care of, actually, I'm going to pick these first. Then I'm going to take care of all the watering and bring you back when it's finished. All right, we're back. I finished the watering. I also used my pickaxe on two of the stones that were very close to the garden here, and unfortunately also on one of my forage seeds. So I'm going to replant that with that last parsnip seed. I'm also going to put fertilizer in the spot that we harvested the blue jazz. I'm going to keep the three light colored blue jazz flowers and I will be selling the others. So we'll just fertilize this already for some more crops to be harvested, uh, planted after we get seeds. We'll just replant that spot there. So we have nine empty spaces. I also think that these cauliflower are going to be ready to harvest very soon. And I'm a little concerned that they may be ready to harvest tomorrow. And that could be a problem for us because Pierre is closed on Wednesday. So we're gonna buy enough seeds to replant those just in case. I'm gonna put the watering can away and head out for the day, not forgetting to grab these salmon berries from the bush on our very own farm. And as you can see, the bushes we harvested yesterday have grown back as well. We're not gonna have any trouble with our needs for energy. Now, I'm just gonna show you off to the left here, past the bus. There are quite a few salmon berry bushes here as well in this area. It's an area that I didn't think to go to for quite some time um, in my first playthrough of the game until I happened to notice a certain something um, while I was going up this path to the mountain. You can actually go into the tunnel, but eventually you will reach a barrier that you cannot pass. And if you go along here, there is something hidden in the dark. It's a battery powered lockbox. Unfortunately, there's no battery in it. There's nothing we can do about that at the moment since we have no ability to get or make batteries quite yet. But it's good to know that that's there for later in the game. Grab 
There's so much forage in the bus stop area today. It's really remarkable how much there is. And that's just since yesterday that all of that spawned. Now, because I did not succeed in getting two gifts to Harvey last week, I'm going to need to be hyper vigilant about making sure I talk to him every day. Have you met my mother? She's the town carpenter. Yes, I have indeed. This is going to be a little amusing. Hi, Leah. Do I look healthy, Dr. Harvey? Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. You're young, though. You'll probably stay healthy without trying. I was hoping that Leah would have something a little bit funnier to say when we interrupted her doctor visit. Some of the other townsfolk get a little upset that you barge into the exam room without uh, respecting their privacy and their confidentiality. George has a craving for Joja Cola. We will accept that quest. Maybe we'll do some fishing a little bit later. I... I'm not going to go out of my way to try to get Joja Cola. Certainly not going to buy any. You can buy it from the vending machine in the saloon. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? I'd like to sell you some things and buy some seeds, Pierre, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that until after the cut scene is over. Uh-oh. Someone in a dark coat has just entered. I suspect villainy. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Joja Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? Oh, everyone wants that 50% off coupon, even Demetrius. And everyone is walking out of Pierre's. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. Well, they're not that loyal if they headed out the door to Joja Mart that quickly. Although you can't really blame them 50% off. But can, oh, Morris agrees with me there. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon, the whole town will realize that. More ha 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 ha. Morris looks very pleased with himself. Pierre, a little less so. I do all my grocery shopping here. See, Lewis is a loyal customer. He wouldn't go to Joja Mart. Oh, I'm not in a good mood right now, okay, Abigail? We are not going to talk to you anymore. <sighs> Pierre is unhappy. Let's sell our blue jazz. And the dandelions. I think we have enough leeks for giving to George. So I'm going to buy some potato seeds and some more parsnip seeds. Again, I could make a lot more money off of crops with a higher profit margin than the parsnips, but I really want to get those six or uh, five gold star parsnips this season. Don't look, I'm all red and sweaty. My arms are strong, but my legs need work. Exercising can be fun. Emily's just dancing to the beat of her own drummer. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. I didn't read Jody's. Oh, breathe in. Oh, breathe out. So we wouldn't get full friendship points from our conversations with the ladies while they're exercising, but I wanted to show you. And I don't think I would catch them all later anyway. Hi there, Evelyn. 
Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. I'm sure you two could become good friends one day. Oh, since you're so interested in my husband, I'll let you in on a little secret. He really likes leeks. You can find them in the mountains this time of year. Yeah, you, you told me that earlier, Evelyn, and I have given him some, and he does indeed appreciate them very much. Well, given that we have a quest for a Joja Cola, let's do a little bit of fishing and see if we can't fish up a bit of trash. It's not unlikely, frankly, that that will happen. And it's a pleasant, peaceful afternoon for fishing. Well, we didn't get a fish and we also didn't get a Joja Cola. I think this is gonna be a smallmouth bass. Maybe a sunfish, we'll see in a moment. Oh, it's a sunfish. It was nice to get that bite right away after casting, even though I accidentally cast very much closer to the bank than I intended to. I'm not going to go hours and hours fishing, um, looking for that Joja Cola. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, we'll just head back to the farm and plant those seeds. Driftwood is a gift that Leah likes. I think I may have mentioned that in an earlier playthrough. She makes sculptures out of it. But Leah is a pretty easy villager to give gifts to because she enjoys foraged items, something that she hints at quite a bit when she talks to you. Got a perfect on that one. And that one was a smallmouth bass. Let's just stop for a moment and say hello to Penny and the kids. Hi, Vincent. Oh, Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. It's a hard life, Vincent. What? <laughs> Giggle. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Oh, and there's Haley again. We could go in and talk to her, I suppose, but I don't think I'm going to. Gonna wait for this fish and I think I'll call that good enough for today's fishing. If I get a Joja Cola, great. If I don't, oh, you know what I could do actually? I could go and fish a little bit in the pond on our farm. Now the bodies of water on your farm, while they will give you crab pot fish, they will never give you an actual fish from your fishing rod, you will only ever get trash. And so the chance of getting a Joja Cola up on the farm is actually much greater than there at the river in town. So we can try that a couple of times and see if we don't succeed in getting that Joja Cola that, I don't know why he wants it. Stuff is terrible for you, but we'll go ahead and, and Put a few casts into the pond. I hate to think that uh, good old grandpa was responsible for all the junk that's in the pond since, well, I mean, driftwood makes sense. There are trees all around. Eat a few salmon berries. Those are good for 25 energy, so a big step up from the green onions. Get twice as much energy from a salmon berry as from a green onion. just do a few more casts. We got a uh, newspaper last time. Again, I'm going to save all of the fishing junk for when we level up enough to make a recycling machine. We did get a Joja Cola that time, which is what I was looking for. I'm just going to grab this. No, 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 no. Pickaxe, please. Thank you. And let's head up. Knock out a few more of these stones on the way since we did eat those salmon berries and we have the energy to do it. I will plant the potato seeds today and I will save the parsnips for after we have harvested one of our other crop plots. 
I am going to keep one green algae because occasionally you do get a quest for it. I'll save the parsnip seeds. I don't think I need to carry around five different things that um, restore energy, so I'll pop the field snacks in there for the moment. Oh, and also the acorn. Driftwood, soggy newspaper, and stones can all go in there. And we'll sell the sunfish and the smallmouth bass. I will keep the Joja Cola in my inventory so that tomorrow we can deliver it to George and make him happy. We could also deliver Robin's lost axe. Um, if we have a lucky day tomorrow, I will go mining with a ladder on me this time. And if we're going by Robin's anyway, there's no reason not to. So before we go to bed for the night, since we have a little more time and a small amount of energy left and plenty of salmon berries, I am going to clean up the farm just a, a little bit more. Get rid of some of these rocks. Make some space. I'll work until probably about 10 or so, and then it'll be getting dark enough to, to want to head in. But I'd like to open up a bit more space and start um, thinking about expansion. We're going to be hoping to be able to build um, a silo, a coop, and a barn as early in the game as we possibly can. Getting our animal production started early will be essential to finishing the community center bundles in the first year, which is definitely a goal of ours. I cannot break ro um, logs, fallen branches, with my pickaxe, no matter how many times I swing at them. All right, that's enough. Let's re-equip the scythe and head back up through the dark fields to our cozy bed. We did get some coal from the rocks we broke there, which is good, and another geode. We should get those geodes processed sometime soon and see whether we have some more things for Gunther. Where's Arhu? I want my kitty in for the night. There, glitchy kitty. <laughs> Let's go to sleep for the night now. We made 117 from the two sunfish and the smallmouth bass. Not a great profit for the day. We didn't level up anything. And our progress is being saved. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode. I hope to see you on the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.